Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Julia Zakalaba, and I am a colorectal surgeon and assistant professor of surgery in Mount Sinai. I practice in our hospital in Brooklyn. Colorectal surgeon actually uh, is a general surgeon who gets an additional training uh, specific for colon rectal disease. So we uh, treat everything from colon cancers uh, and diverticulitis to such conditions as hemorrhoids, anal fistulae, anal fissures, and anal cancers, and HPV and genital warts. So a colorectal surgeon does not necessarily treat HPV as a condition, but uh, a colorectal surgeon definitely plays a role in treating the sequelae of HPV, such as uh, anal genital warts. And um, unfortunately, if somebody has anal cancer, there is a role for colorectal surgeon to be involved too. There are certain factors that increase the risk of uh, HPV in uh, certain populations, such as um, a number of sexual partners, a predominance of HIV in certain populations, and um, uh, also uh, to some degree using protection during the sexual intercourse. So uh, certain populations are more affected than others with, by HPV. And unfortunately, homosexual men uh, fall into a category that is more affected uh, by HPV than uh, heterosexual men. Unfortunately, there is H HIV in, is one of the uh, major risk factors in um, actually developing uh, HPV uh, sequelae, such as genital warts and potentially anal cancer in certain uh, situations. And that's because uh, HIV by itself is uh, an immunosuppressive condition. And also there is some medical evidence that uh, HIV directly uh, affects the progression of HPV. So for colorectal diagnosis, and once again, I think that we are talking specifically about cancer diagnosis and anal cancer, um, are the following. So for colon and rectal cancer, uh, you've got to follow up with your primary care doctors and make sure that you are referred to appropriate physicians at appropriate times and follow the guidelines, such as having colonoscopy at the age of 45 or earlier if you develop any symptoms, such as, for example, rectal bleeding, uh, weight loss, vague abdominal discomfort, changes in bowel habits. When we talk specifically about HPV-related anal conditions, such as anal cancer, it's really important to get vaccinated. That's the best way to prevent uh, catching HPV and potentially uh, high-risk um, subtypes of HPV that may lead to anal cancer. So there is one vaccine, Gardasil, a uh, nine-valent vaccine available in the United States, and the recommendations are that um, that vaccine is to be administered between the ages of 9 and 12, but even... Uh, Patients older than that, up to the age of 26, uh, are eligible to get vaccinated. And their, uh, their history of uh, positive pap smears in women or even an anal positive anal pap smears in, ma in men, uh, previous history of HPV infections or genital warts or HIV do not uh, change their eligibility to get vaccinated.